For more on the story, we are joined by Nader Hashemi, director of the Center for Middle East Studies. He is live for us from Denver. Nader, thanks so much for your time for TRT World. Very intense uh, couple of hours in the Strait of Hormuz. How do you see this playing out? Well, I see this is uh, a major escalation leading us to war. Uh, I would be very surprised if uh, between now and the next U.S. presidential election, there isn't some sort of military conflict. And I say that because um, it just takes one um, misunderstanding to launch a war. We, we're almost there um, on June the 20th when Iran shot down an American drone and Trump had ordered airstrikes, but he changed his mind at the last moment. Um, on top of that, your viewers should be aware that the prospects for diplomacy are very bleak. There's no direct communication between Tehran and Washington, D.C., and very little interest on behalf of both countries to engage in the type of diplomacy that can defuse this crisis. And um, how do you think uh, the seizure of the British tanker, uh, now we know it's only one tanker seized, um, how do you see this affecting the relations between Washington and Tehran? Well, I think this is actually a, um, a dream come true for the war hawks in Washington, D.C., the John Bolton, Mike Pompeos, who are interested in regime change, because it provides an opportunity to peel Britain and the European Union away from their commitment to the Iran nuclear deal by making the argument that Iran is acting in an in an aggressive way, threatening international navigation, preventing um, oil supplies from emanating from the Persian Gulf, um, and forcing Britain now to, to sort of respond to this seizure um, by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. So I think this very much plays into the agenda of the war hawks. It makes it much more difficult for Britain and the European Union to stay committed to the Iran nuclear agreement and it is a significant step in the direction of greater conflict uh, between the United States and its allies and the Islamic Republic of Iran. Uh, now that all this started when Donald Trump um, left the nuclear agreement with Iran, do you think that all Iran wants to achieve is sanctions relief? Well, I think Iran fundamentally wants sanctions relief. It wants to um, return to um, the uh, terms of the Iran nuclear agreement. They've explicitly stated um, that if the United States returns uh, and adheres to the Iran nuclear agreement, they would be open to negotiate other uh, points of conflict that separate Iran from the United States. So I think very much yeah, th that's, that's why Iran is doing these things. It's enriching uranium, it's um, seizing these oil tankers, it's engaging in this type of a tit-for-tat response because its economy is suffering tremendously. More than 75% of its oil supplies have been cut as a result of um, sanctions. And so I think that's very much what, he, what, what, what the goal is here from the perspective of the Islamic Republic. Okay, Nader Hashemi, thanks so much for your insight for us here at TRT World.